Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. So glad you guys are here. I'm very excited today because I have some more Ace Beauté products that I want to play with. I, I have a number of their palettes, and I got to be honest, sometimes I haven't always loved them. Sometimes I felt like the powders were a little dry and patchy, and maybe I was just left wanting a little bit more. But I think they might have reformulated some stuff because it seems like my last couple experiences with them have been pretty good. So let's just see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this is good. And now I gotta be, a second, second, I gotta be honest here. Uh, I, this palette, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, is that this one? But it's not. They're two totally different palettes. This one's Falling For You and this one's Ambiance. So we're gonna play with Ambiance. <laughs> we're gonna play with Ambiance and just see how it goes. Let me know if you guys want more Ace Beauté palettes. I think I might have more than what I have edited and posted for you guys. This is the palette. It's looking a little fall, right? Especially this orange really draws me and this. Th there's a little bit of fall vibes going on. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. I also picked up one of their contour slash bronzer palettes and a blush palette. Let's throw some of this on really fast and kind of just see how it goes. This one has four different shades. Did, did I, is there a, did I get a particular color or is, are they all the same? I don't see anything. It just says bronzed in paradise. It doesn't say, doesn't look to me like there's like a lighter, medium or dark, but there is four shades in here. This one's pretty red but it's beautiful. I'm going to start with the lightest one and just see how that looks on my skin. Yeah, this, this particular time of year, the lighter one seems to be working very well as a, I would call that a bronzer, not necessarily quite a contour, but definitely more of a bronzer on my current shade. Yeah, that's really smooth and, and looks really pretty. Okay, I'm going to take a little small, well, I know it's a smaller brush, a little bit different brush, and I'm going to go into, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go into this dark one here, and let's just see how that looks. I barely got any, but we're going to see how that looks as a little bit more of a contour. Oh yeah, that gave me some cheekbones. Look at that. Okay, it's like I just went on a diet or something. All right, so I got a little, probably a little bit carried away on that one. Let me blend it in here. All right, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying that. I look like I had not have nice high cheekbones. I'm gonna throw a little bit here to contour my nose. What a fun palette! Some people don't like the you know multi size palettes. They it's just too much. I'm gonna go into the the second one here to contour my jawline a little bit. Um, some people don't like the the multi product palettes, but. I find myself, just like with eyeshadow palettes, playing and dibbling and dabbling in multiple shades to get exactly what I want is better than having just the one that you're kind of stuck with. All right, I feel like that helped the situation out just a little bit. I'm gonna clean off this same brush and I'm gonna go into the blush palette. This one is called Blushed in Paradise. Must have been a, a theme. And there are four shades in here. This is super rich wine shade. Uh, then we've got kind of a mauve, like a cool tone mauve and a warmer toned, leaning a little bit more coral. I think it's a little washed out in the camera from what I see on this end. And then over this, over the last one we have, I'm going to call it like a neutral pink, something a little bit more neutral. I don't know what else to call it. We're going to start with that one and see if it's not too light. doesn't seem like it's going to on the brush. Oh yeah. That's really pretty. That's a great shade for me. And I'm just going to blend it over the top of the bronzer. Yeah, that's a nice, I like that. Oh, yay. I, I want to feel like I've had some Ace Beauté bronzers or blushes before. I don't think I decluttered them. I might have to go back and look. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I thought I did, but I don't really. And I am using an ABH foundation, which is a little bit more luminous, but I think as long as I powder over the top of it. It won't be too glowy at the end of the day. Okay. I'm looking a little washed out. I like that shade, but I think I want to amp it up a little bit. I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to take the warmer one. It's almost like a lipstick pink. I'm going to just take a little bit of that. Oh yeah. That amped up that color quite a bit. Yeah. That'll work for me. You know what else I'm super excited about with this particular palette? They didn't waste any space putting in a highlighter that I wasn't ever going to use. Super, super happy. Okay, it may look like I've over abused the blush right now. Frankly, I'll probably have to figure out what to do with it when I get done with the eyeshadow, but uh, let's play with some eyeshadow. I was gonna do originally three looks. I don't wanna do eyeshadow yet, I wanna do lips next. I was originally gonna do three looks with this palette because I think the palette is gorgeous, but I'm feeling a little creative. I think I wanna try a bunch of them in one look and see how it looks. Okay, I've grabbed another one of their liquid lips. This is Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick. This is in shade Shiro. And then I got a lip liner. I don't know that it really ma matches very well. And this one's called, I think it's called Priority. So let's just get this on. Okay, 
at first application just on my lower lip. Do you guys remember that show that came out in, I think it was on Netflix at the end of November, maybe December, early December. No, it was like end of November, Wednesday, Wednesday Adams. This reminds me of her makeup art or the, one of the makeup artists said that they used uh, a MAC lip liner and then just kind of blended on their lips and then topped it with um, uh, like lip balm. This reminds me of that shade. All right, you guys, I don't know how dark the lipstick is. I think it's pretty dark. So I did just a little tiny bit of contouring with that lip liner and just dark around the outside. So let's take this lip, liquid lip, and let's see how it looks pretty rich. Oh yeah, a little bit warmer than the lip liner. Definitely a fall look. Mm. I'm gonna call this like cozy fireside. Okay, taking my cozy fireside lips, which is a little dark for me. Definitely look, I look a little bottom heavy, which doesn't help me at all, but let's, let's play with this palette. I'm excited to try some of these colors here. So I've got uh, a dual ended Sigma brush I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with this lightest matte, not the lightest shade, it's one of the lighter shades, it's the lightest warm shade. A little bit of kick up, this one's called Serene. How's everybody doing? Before I go on, I only went over my lids with um, the dregs of the foundation because I wasn't sure that this is gonna be the look that I leave on for the rest of the day. I've got some things I gotta go do in a little while. This might be a bit much <laughs> for running errands in the town that I live in, but let's just see. I just, I needed to, got a little bit of a headache and I'm trying to, I don't know, de-stress a little bit. I'm thinking that a lot of it's stress. We've got some weather where we're at and I'm supposed to fly in two days and I'm very concerned that my flight's not gonna be able to leave. They've been canceling flights left and right. My hair's getting my way here. Yeah, we're gonna do the same look on both eyes, right? I've got that kind of peachy, apricotty, orange sherbet color. Almost reminds me of like a uh, hot apple cider. It's it called Serene. Hmm. I guess fall could be Serene. This feels like a fall palette to me, but I mean, I could be wrong, but it feels like a fall fall palette. I think it came out in the fall. I didn't get it right away when it came out. Um, I think I, I kept seeing it and I was like, mm, I don't want to not get it. So I ended up getting it. I'm going to take a little bit of Lively, which is this kind of the next warmest color. It's also a matte. And I'm just going to take it into the front part of my crease, tapping it on here in a very specific location. Are you guys, you guys are close enough, right? I'm not a professional makeup artist, so it's not like you guys come here for a tutorial. This is more of just like an application and like a chit chat. Get ready with me. Let's have a conversation. Let's play with some, some makeup. I'm a big fan of getting things on sale. <laughs> so if you ever see this palette on sale, I would say give it a try. Let's just see, you know? All right, I'm gonna take this pale martini olive green called Delightful. So that was serene and lively. Now I'm gonna take Delightful and I'm taking it on the same brush and I'm gonna keep it to the inner portion of my lid. This is, in my opinion, the lightest matte that you have. So for me, where I need to give myself a little bit of an optical illusion, I like to put a lighter shade on the inside. And this shade, like, doesn't it match my sweater? I kind of want to use this all over my lid right now, but I want to use a lot of shades. So I'm going to just put this right here in the inner, blend it up into that kind of orangey rust color, and we'll just blend a little bit better on both sides. Great. So far, so good. This palette is so pretty. Here's the way the palette is laid out, and this is what I probably think they intended. You could go down a row, at least this one. I think you can almost get a, a look out of that row. I don't, maybe this one, this one for me is not a row I could get a, a entire cohesive look out of just because it's all shimmers. They're metallic either they're spoiled, there's some marbles, but it, the textures just isn't going to work for me. I think it's really meant to be like down this column, down that column, maybe down that column, down this one. Sure. Okay. And then this is definitely edgy. I think those are your columns. Sometimes I look at palettes through squares and I think I can get some of these look like a look like that for sure. The, that one maybe, this one no because it's all shimmers, that one sure, yes, yes. Yeah, I think I can get squares to get looks but I'm just gonna bounce all over right now. Okay, uh, I need to go into Mystical, which is the shade right here. And I'm going to kind of try to load this up on my brush a little bit and pack it in down here at the bottom and then bring it up. I think purples like this tend to be pretty hard to formulate. I am getting some fallout. Not a big surprise, but this is really easy to work with. Oh, I'm so happy for Ace Beauté having quality because I think for a while there, I was a little concerned. I'm just going to try to dust some of that fallout off. I have now kind of a little bit of a bruise look, but that's okay. We'll clean it up. I can't use every shade 
in this palette on this eye look because there's 12 shades <laughs> and it's I'm not using precise enough brushes to go in and do 12 individual shades on the same same look I'm almost to the right level of where I need to bring that up because of my like hooded eyes I tend to look straight in and see where I need to bring it up to because that's going to help me recede that hood a little bit and bring the bring the shape up kind of give me a little mini eye lift better than if I were to just look down into a mirror I'm just telling you guys what I do how I deal with my my hooded eye situation my mature eye situation those are pretty colors I'm loving this right now all right I'm gonna take this purple shimmer over here it's called charming and super creamy formula and I'm putting it right over that seam of where that dark 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 purple is at okay you guys one thing that I was a little worried about as soon as you start combining oranges and purples and green all together does it start to look like a bruise you know what I'm talking about does it start to look muddy and bruise like and I'm not seeing bruise with this look. It just looks really pretty. All right, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna take the copper shade in here, which is called Candlelight. I'm taking that copper shade right next to the purple and it's going right over the top just to kind of blend it in a little bit and then straight up. That's giving me a little bit of, an, a little bit of lightness right there. And now, in general, I don't put this much effort into my eyeshadow. <laughs> just, this is a fun, I don't know, artistic experiment for me because Typically, I'm just always in such a rush. <laughs> I'm always trying to cram everything I can possibly into the last possible moment, and then I run out of time. <laughs> so I don't have time to get, like, you know, really kind of creative with this. I need another green. I think I'm going to take this green over here that is called Enchanting right here. That color is stunning. I have to go somewhere tonight, and I'm probably wearing a green shirt. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't come back and do uh, an eye look that is with that, <laughs> with a lot of these greens in it. Oh, I'm so glad I got to play with this, you guys. What a fun, fun palette. Wow, I love that. Definitely a martini, olive, shimmery, green. This whole thing says 70s to me. Like if I'm looking at pumpkin and avocado and some of these shades, I'm thinking, wow, this is this has 70s written all over it. I'm just going to blend against that top, kind of where I want my crease to be, just so that we don't necessarily see a start and a stop. Wow, these are super pretty, and they're maintaining their shade as I kind of move them together. I don't know that you guys are close enough to be able to see this, but I can tell you from my perspective, I am not unhappy at all. Okay, I need, I'm going to grab a little pencil brush, and I'm going to go into this lightest shade here. It's almost like a shimmery yellow. This one's called Magical. I'm throwing a little Magical right there. Yeah, I wish I I wish I would have brought you guys closer. You know what? I will bring you guys closer here in just a second. And that way you can see how pretty these are together. I'm super happy. Wow. This is this is all kinds of fun. Definitely edgier and more colorful than 95% of the eye looks that I do. I needed something fun. Okay, what are we gonna do down below? We have this beautiful shade right here called Bustling. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a pencil brush and take it down here along the outer corner just to deepen up that outer line and connect it to that purple at the top. This is so dramatic. I mean, like I'm, I'm all drama right now. Drama and creative and unique, but not clown-like. I'm not feeling clown. I'm just feeling all kinds of, all kinds of fun. All right, I'm cleaning off that brush from that shade Bustling, and I'm gonna go into this kind of mustardy color called Cozy. That one seems very dry, and I'm gonna just connect the green and then that pale yellow together. Yeah. That definitely completes it. I feel like I might have gotten a purple in my eye, my eye because this one eye is looking a little on the purpley side. All right, I'm getting all the colors, all those colors. What did I not use? I didn't use one of the greens, one of the purple shimmers. I didn't use the two darkest shades. I didn't use this shade called Moody or this shade called Alluring. And I didn't use Picturesque. I'm going to take a little bit of Picturesque on the tip of this pencil brush and just connect right there. Hopefully that sparkle will just pull my eye out a little bit more so I don't look cross-eyed. Yeah, I love that. Wow, how fun. I'm feeling so good about this right now. Let me grab one more brush. I think I want to take the black, which is called Moody, and I'm going to pick up some of it on my brush 
and then I'm gonna just deepen up just the lash line on the outside. That'll give that purple a lot more depth without really changing the color of it. I didn't need to do this. This is an extra step. I probably could have wet that down a little bit and it might even be more saturated, but I'm loving the way this looks right now. Okay, let me put throw some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I wanted to bring you in a little bit more so you can see some of the actual eyeshadow because it's a little hard to see from a distance. This is so over the top dramatic, but I love it. This is giving me all kinds of like, I don't know, fun, edgy, and I just want to leave this on. When you look at me straight on, you don't always, you don't see all of the different shades because of those hooded eyes. But when I blink, all of a sudden you can see the individual ones, and I think the overall effect is really, really pretty. You know what? I'm going to, because this lip is so dark and the eyes are so dark, I got to go a little bit overboard. I'm going to take the darkest blush in here. <sighs> I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna go right up here. Now, this is not something that would be an everyday look for me by any stretch of the imagination. It would not work with my kind of corporate job and the sort of lifestyle that I lead anyway. But if I wanted to do something a little bit out there, a little bit, I don't know, fun, edgy, different, but still pretty, yeah, I would do that. It's a little bit more, I don't know, it's pretty unexpected. I bought a face powder and I did a video on Moira. This is the Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder and I completely forgot to use this in the video that I did. So and I don't think it's posted yet. It's going to be up in a little while. So, you know, subscribe, ring the bell, do the thing so that you guys can see it because I really had a good time with it. Um, but let's take a look at this. I'm going to try this powder and see what it looks like on my skin. So it looks like it's just a translucent powder. The packaging is not bad at all. It's kind of an embossed thing. So let's just load up a brush and see how this looks. Ooh. Okay, see how this looks on the skin. Oh, wow, that totally toned that down. Look at the difference. See how bold this is and how completely just subtle and airbrushed that looks on that side. Holy smokes. This is like industrial powder. How can it be waterproof? Is that really the, a, really a thing? Waterproof powder? Did I just find a new favorite powder? No. This can't be better than like my RCMA, can it? Hmm. All right, the lips make it look a little severe. I probably would do something light in the center. Do I have something? Hold on. All right, this is gonna seem a little crazy, but I have this L'Oreal kind of a liquid lip and it's a cool tone. It might not even be enough. Yeah, I'm thinking I might even go a little lighter, but it's not bad. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video, playing with some Ace Beauté. I'm, I'm really, really, really enjoying this brand. I'm thrilled that whatever patchiness I dealt with before is now gone. I think that the color stories are very interesting. I'm not upset about this. I'm happy to have it in my collection. If you have any questions about this eyeshadow palette or want me to come back and do more looks with it, let me know. These greens over here, the grungy greens, are by far going to be my favorite just because I'm a grungy green kind of lover. But yeah, I think it's easy to see a bunch of different looks. And I think you can get away with some of them at other times of the year. But I think this is pretty much a fall leaning palette or cozy fireplace. We'll call it cozy fireplace. Ambiance is the name of the palette. Uh, Ace Butte. I'll try to link the brand down below. I get nothing in PR. None of this came to me for free. I purchased it with my own money so I can give you my honest opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well and I hope you guys stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.